So we are on the 30th day of the practice of the Bhagavad Gita. And today I have chosen the 16th shlok of the 17th Adhyay, 17th chapter. Mana prasada samyatvam maunam atma vinigraha bhava samshuddhirityetat tapo mana samuchyate Bhagwan Krishna is explaining to Arjun what penance of the mind is. He says, it is cheerfulness of the mind, placidity, habit of contemplation on God, control of the mind, and perfect purity of inner feelings. All this is called austerity of the mind. As you will recall, those who are attending, that we're talking about the four-point program of Bhagwan Krishna, who says that when we have sattvic input, sattvic food for all the five senses, then we are producing sattvic output, which consists of sattvic yagna, sattvic tapas, and sattvic dan. So we've already done two of the tapases. There are three kinds of tapas, as I told you. Sharirik is done and Vachik is also done. Today we are going to talk about Mansik Tapas. Sharirik Tapas, you know, makes the body internally and externally clean. Vachik Tapas, because Vachik means of speech. Speech is an organ of action. So it makes all our organs of action purified. And mansik tapas obviously purifies the antakaran. So to have mansik tapas or to do mansik tapas, we need to inculcate five noble values. If we practice these five values, we will have purity of antakaran. And obviously you know that when the mind is purified, we can move to higher and higher levels of spiritual growth. So here are the five actions to inculcate the five noble values. Bhagwan says the first one is that you should, your mind should be cheerful. There should be, there should be cheerfulness of mind, which is called mana prasada. Now, obviously, when our mind is agitated, dejected, depressed, when we feel angry, when we feel frustrated, it's obvious that these are avguns and we cannot progress in our spiritual journey. We need to keep the mind positive and we need to be in a frame of mind that is cheerful. How will we get this? What is the sadhana for keeping the mind cheerful, in other words, to keep the mind in the positive frame of mind rather than in a negative frame of mind. Simple, continuous connection with satsang helps to keep our mind in a positive frame, but not just attending satsang. After attending satsang, you have to implement whatever is being taught through the shastras. So do some seva. Doing seva and karma yoga bhav makes the mind extremely strong and positive. And then all the sadhanas that are prescribed in the satsang. So the first thing we need to inculcate in us is have a cheerful mind. Don't all the time be dejected, angry, frustrated, irritated. Okay, this is not in our highest interest. And we cannot be passing the blame also to anyone else for our condition. Second, Bhagwan calls it somyatvam, placidity of mind, meaning goodness, goodness of your heart, compassion, 
kindness. When we understand through the satsang that we are truly divine beings, we are truly spiritual beings, our true nature is divine. When we understand that and we have a pakka understanding of it, then our actions will also reflect our divinity. If you don't understand it with integrity, if you don't really have a belief that you are divine, your actions, your words cannot be divine because you are always operating through aham. So we need to first make that understanding pakka, aham brahmasmi, even theoretically. I'm not saying with direct experience. Theoretically understand our true nature is divine. That is why every day in the affirmations, I keep repeating that one sentence. When you understand it and you have a firm understanding of it, your actions, your behavior, your words, everything will reflect that understanding. And when that happens, you'll start seeing the goodness in the other. You'll start seeing the divinity in the other. You'll start behaving with compassion and kindness with the other. All this is possible. Theoretically, you say, how will I actually make it happen? Well, the Shastras say, when you do bhakti, when you do puja, when you do jap, you start affecting the softness in the heart. And that is where the goodness and the understanding of your true nature will come. So, bhakti, jap, puja, that is how you will get somyatva. Then, third, Bhagwan calls it maunam. Maunam means continuous contemplation on Bhagwan. Maunam doesn't mean to stay maun. It means to have the state of a muni. How a muni is. How is a muni? He is shant. He is always, no matter what he is doing in the world, his mind is totally connected with the divine. Where is our mind connected? It is continuously chattering. It is continuously judging. It is continuously comparing, evaluating, analyzing, obsessing. You know, if our mind is continuously busy with Vyavahar, with Sansar, with what others are doing, then it can never ever get connected with Bhagwan. So Maunam, is not just silence of the mouth. Monam is silence of the mind. Right? How will I get this? How come? How, what will stop me from chattering of the mind and getting involved with so much of sansar? How many times we have told this? Witnessing is the sadhana that you need to do to just, you see something, witness it. You hear something, witness it. You smell something, witness it. You hear something, witness it. Don't just get involved in it, okay? The Shastras say, use your mind like a mobile phone. Means, you're not all the time holding on to it like this, right? When you pick, need it, you pick it up and you use it. When you're not needing to use it, what should you do? Put it down. Same way with your mind. When you need the mind to perceive things, to do something, to do some positive action, use it. Otherwise, put it down. Okay. Fourth one. Control of the mind or Atma Vinigraha. So, you know, we have been born in the highest yoni, humans. Before that, we have lived lakhs and lakhs of lives as animals, insects, birds, fish, all kinds of creatures. All those behaviors that we had in those forms, all the experiences are still imprinted in our antakaran. Those sanskars are still there. And in this human form, from time to time, those sanskars also get expressed. When you are expressing your avguns, your anger, your greed, your pride, 
your violence, your himsa. These are all the sanskars of your previous lifetimes as animals. So from time to time, we express them even as humans. So we need to clean the mind and we need to master the mind and purify our gunas. Then only we'll be able to be in control of the mind. How will that happen? Discipline. We need to exercise some discipline. Unfortunately, humans have got the freedom to do whatever they want. So they feel that doing anything is our birthright. Actually, that is not your freedom and that is not your birthright. You are meant to exercise caution, discipline and master your mind. How to master it? What kind of discipline? Not to be too harsh, not to be too indulgent. The way you would discipline a small child because that's the condition of the mind. Fifth, Bhagwan calls it perfect purity of inner feelings. Bhav samshuddhir means be 100% sattvic in common language. What, what is the motive behind what you're doing? What is the reason why we should do anything? That reason, that motive should be pure. It should be in the highest interest of everyone. And we saw that yesterday also in Vachik Tapas. So we should speak, we should act, we should perform things with a motive which is divine, a motive which is inspiring, a motive which is in the highest interest of all. How will all this happen? How will our motive become so divine and spiritual and inspirational and pure? If you do all the other four values, if you start bringing all those other four values into yourself, automatically, you don't have to do anything. Automatically, your feelings, your mind, your motives will become pure. So, to recap, what do I have to do? What sadhanas do I have to do? Attend satsang. Implement the teachings of the satsang. Do seva in karma yoga bhav. Do bhakti, jap, puja. Silence the mind through witnessing. Have discipline and have honesty of motive. People think that negative tendencies of guns can just do something click the fingers and it will be gone decide today from tomorrow i will not be angry is it possible no it's not possible because it has taken lifetimes for us to become like that so the eradication of it from our antakaran is a gradual process many many lifetimes we have become like this so now we have to take our time diligently to remove it. No shortcuts available. No rushing. No fast track. It needs tapasya. What tapasya? Sharirik tapasya. Vachik tapasya. Mansik tapasya. Can you do it? If you can do it, all your avguns will go. Guaranteed by Bhagwan Krishna, not me. Tomorrow, something more about Satvik Dan.